one of our team. But before going to the next level, let's just go here. The triple pun. Oh, dude, triple? Triple? I love this giant fish. I'm gonna say triple. Dance. Yeah. A triple. He's, he's actually Jabu Jabu's mentally challenged cousin. So basically, this is kinda broken. Like, this. It's just like a full restore that he gives you for free and you can come back and refill it anytime. But you know what this actually reminds me? Have you ever played Link's Awakening? Uh, no, I have not. Like, you get songs in the game for your Ocarina, and one of them is called, um... Uh, what's it called? It's Mambo something. But like, a huge fish. Mambo? Mambo number five? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Mambo number five. Yeah, but no, there's like a huge Wait, fish that Jessica. teaches it to you, and it's very similar to this. Like, the, the fish just, jing just dances around. And after that, you learn the song. Oh, by the way, I can't leave, so you're forced to watch all of it. Oh, I'm, uh, you stay forced, I say, yeah. beautifully guided. It's one way to see it. <laughs> it looks it looks really happy to do it. To do his dance. He's a performer, he's an exhibitionist. That's this true. is how it gets off. There's one more thing you can do here, and this is actually the last item I got when I first 100 person did the game. I like how the apples like on the tree are fish. Yeah. It's a fish tree. You get you get a you get a Wait, music whoa, sheet. What happened? What did you do? How did I you don't know. Do I fished out apples and a music sheet. He got pissed off. Yeah, he got really mad. So we're gonna Maybe go to. Fish him. I I wish I could. Let's get shoveling. Give you a big dinner. I know for a lot of people this level is a huge jump in difficulty. It's... I remember it being slightly difficult, but I don't remember it like being like. It's not. You've got to turn off your steam, dude. Like, I re <laughs> I know. I'm gonna do that next time. Yeah. Like the game, this level is a few. This level is a few weird gimmicks that. Well, actually, all levels have their own their own gimmicks that don't really come back. But this one oh, has some. Cool. Oh, come back here. Oh no. Come back here. I wanna get back oh, up there. Lost his head. Yeah. Another bomb. Yeah, the red skeleton loses their head. When you hit them. This guy is there just to help you. You can kill those ghosts. Like, if you kill them, they just get knocked back and they respawn right after. I'm really playing Street Fighter V again. <laughs> That's probably a sign that the game is garbage and keeps crashing. <laughs> <laughs> probably, honestly. Just gonna put that out there. It's a few. Oh, uh, it's a skeleton. Yeah. Just chilling in the in the wall. What's your favorite horror movie, actually? Uh, the Thing. John Carpenter's The Thing from 1984. Something to watch that movie. It's it's really good. Like. It, everything about it is amazing. Also, it has some of the best use of animatronics ever. It's... It's good. One movie I like yeah. a lot too, but it's mostly... It's it's not that great, it's probably just because... Some sort of bizarre nostalgia's Event Horizon. Oh yeah, that's a freaky movie. I, I saw it when I was like probably like 8 years old or something, and it fucked me up. It terrified me for days. This is the part of the, the level that I remember being a bitch. Yeah, like you have to. You could. You can be patient, but when you know the level layout really well, it's not that bad. Yeah, I remember Event Horizon. Is, isn't that the movie where it's just like nothing happens, and then it's like, oh yeah, this is a portal to hell. By the way, I'm a demon. Now watch torture porn. Basically, yeah, it's really bizarre, and when shit hits the fan, it, everything goes, it gets really gross. Because I remember it has some like really gross imagery, and that's like really gross, <laughs> yeah. like it's known for. The part that really creeped me out is when the guy like gouges out his own eyes, and he's like, "Where we're going, we don't need eyes," or something like that. <laughs> Isn't it's... that a Back to the Future quote? I, I'm pretty sure he says it in there or something like that. Where we're going, we don't need eyes. <laughs> I, I don't. 
that's it's not a bad like where we're going where we don't need roads is back to the future probably <laughs> but maybe where it's a maybe I it's a really stuff. maybe it's a really obscure reference by not obscure but a really kind of weird reference they made but no it's yeah this is a line where we're going we don't need eyes in Event Horizon. That's yeah, it's it's one of like the most memorable quotes of the movie because it's one of the most fucked up scenes in, in the movie. <laughs> so dumb. Was it? But the guy like a... gouges out his eyes when he says that. It's really disgusting. Oh, when you fish, I did it in the first level, but I couldn't use it. But like when you fish out this guy, he fills out your uh, chalice if you uh, if you have one empty. But is it a massive chalice? No, it's not. No. Oh, oh wow. Those platforms like fall down depending on the weight, like that there's on. It's really so annoying. Limit. Shovel Knight's actually a fatty. Yeah, I really this is one of the gimmick I really don't like in that level. Oh, I don't even know what I'm doing. Why am I help? Oh, did you die? No, no. I know. Still doing good. Proud of you. I really like the music in this level. It's probably my favorite tune. This is pretty simple. Like you the gimmick is. is I don't know. Is it the Cat Stevens song? It is. <laughs> it is. If you wanna sing out, sing out. <laughs> if you wanna be free, be free. Says a million things to be. You know that there are. Come on, Huxley, take it away! <laughs> I wish I me. could, but I don't know I don't know the lyrics at all. If you ever do a speedrun of this game, this is one of the only items that's worth getting because you can bypass a lot of the bullshit. Basically you basically makes you invincible for two seconds. Skip the bullshit. Get the phase lock and now for just three orders of nineteen ninety nine. Have you have you ever watched uh reboot? Like the three D uh, cartoon. I watched it a little bit as a kid, but <laughs> okay. I don't remember it like at all. Okay. So you don't you don't know Mike the T V? Not really. Okay. No. Oh. Wanna get this chest. Failed the city. It's a really good cartoon by the way. I I think I remember trying to rewatch like the first episode once and it was like it was really <laughs> honestly it looked really dated. It did it did. It does. It it was like one of the first 3D animation thing ever. Yeah, and it shows. It's also a Canadian show, by the way. Nice. You guys actually made something. I thought <laughs> yeah, it's the only thing we've ever made. Oh no, that's not true. You made some maple syrup stuff. Actually, that's just uh, some Quebec. Like, oh. Literally, like 90% of. I think we produce 80% of the old world maple syrup production. <laughs> A little bit of the rest is uh, Ontario and. You guys have IHOPs? I would think you would. We have what? IHOPs. IHOPs? International House of Pancakes. I am. Not in Quebec, at least. I don't know for the rest of the country. Wow. Oh. I feel. I what feel is like it? To. Well, it's, it's just a, a pancake house. Like it's pancake. like. Well, it's like it's like a, a breakfast food place and they specialize in pancakes. Never heard of it before. Really? Huh. Nope. So what what all like, breakfast food places do you have? Like do you have like because we have mm. the, the main three here are IHOP, Denny's, and Waffle House. I uh, no like Denny's. Uh, we don't I don't I never seen a Denny's in here. But like in a lot of the uh, fast food chains are in Quebec. Like you'll see them in Ontario, but they'll have very few uh, stores in Quebec. So. Did so you guys not even have Waffle House then? I don't think we do. Not in oh, here, wow. at least. I don't know about Ontario, but not here. Not here. Well, it's probably for the best. Waffle House is not the greatest. <laughs> so this is the final platforming challenge of the game, of the, yeah, of the I game, think, I of the level. You you gotta take your time for it. Like the game doesn't force you to rush through it, so you can be cautious about it. And those ghosts are there just to fuck with you and knock you down the bottomless pit. Is our you about to be at the boss? Yup, there we go. This boss looks amazing by the way, his animation are so good. I remember this guy being an asshole. This is like one of the harder bosses for me. He's not that bad. He's very pattern based. 
They fuck with me though, because I think the the whole dark and light thing happens in this level too. Yeah. Uh, it really threw me off when I was playing. Took me a couple tries to beat him. Yeah. The first time. Like I said, this level is generally, for a lot of people, is gonna be a huge jump in difficulty compared to uh, first to the first bit, yeah. one. Yeah. That's why people who started with this one probably were in for a pretty bad surprise, especially yeah, for I think people I who want. Actually, I think I chose this one first. Yeah, and that's usually like if you're not too into platformers, it's generally not good. Well, it, it did make the uh, the castle one seem like a breeze, though. So. Yeah, I would imagine. And there we go. Oh, we lost a viewer. We're back down to three. We had four yeah. briefly. Almost did it without getting hit. Do you get like any bonuses for doing it without losing damage? No, I think you get like a Chivo for doing it once. No, I'm not sure. I forget. I got most of those Chivos a long time ago. There's another you, dream you sequence. You have all achievements in this game? Yes, including the Plague Knight ones. So this means the no death runs and the speed runs as well. This time you can actually fight. Yeah, I have to like jump on things to save her. Yep. Enemies in those dream sequence actually drop like a lot more gold than they usually do. Which is kind of weird, but... Well, it's like a little grinding area. Yeah, I guess. It's free. There's also, you can actually not catch her, there's no, like, there's no point to this. Like, if you miss her, it doesn't matter. You also get a free treasure chest here. And then, meal ticket. This means another health upgrade for free. Yay. For free. Get that health. I will. You're healthy now. Off. Here we can see, each, next three levels. Gonna go cash in this uh, meal ticket thing. It's my money and I need it now. So I don't know if we ever actually had an end to like the video uh, like, for the YouTube. It's up, it's up to you. So we're like 40 minutes in. Uh, we can cut it in two. We can keep going. We can do one more level if you want. I'm down. Okay. I'm down. Because I know, because like, oh yeah, it makes editing a little bit more difficult since we won't have like an official opening for the. Uh... Ah, it doesn't matter. I'll just like put some. I'll just find a good point to cut it. Probably, yep. yeah. I got this here. Forgot what this is. Oh, scrolling level. Grid. Everyone likes those. It's true. Everyone's favorite. This isn't too difficult, it's like one of those uh, just give you a bit more cash to use. Like I said, the game like throws money at you, it expects you to lose some by dying quite a bit, so it's not a big deal if you don't, don't get all of this. You're probably not intended to get all of it anyway. Yeah, I wonder if it's even possible to get everything on this level. Probably not. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Fish that brick. Like I got probably over almost two thousands in the level, so good enough. That'll do, Knight. That'll do. Yep. We're gonna do uh, the Explodatorium Blair Plague Knight, and after that we'll call it a call it a day. All right. I really like Get this level. Digging. It's really good. It, this this level kind of pushes your. Uh, it's one of the few levels that really wants you to not mess around too much. Yeah. Those rats explode, dude. They're really annoying. I don't know. They're like mutated. What they got like in the mutant yeah. moves. Yeah. We want one of them will grow up to be Master Splinter. <laughs> oh, you can kill the birds. Yeah, if you That's cool. if you try enough, you can. There's a, I think you can get to a secret area later in the level by jumping off one of those birds. That's Goldfish. pretty cool, then. Yeah, 
keep like going invisible on my on, like on the stream. Yeah, I think it's a flickering. I should check the frame rate. It's probably every time I get hit or something like that. Uh, it's not around that. It's probably not gonna be on the recording though. Hopefully not. Oh god. This fire is a little bit annoying though. There's a few platforming challenges with this that makes it a little bit difficult. I get a music note. Yep. I'm like I'm, I don't even care about getting like all of the money whenever I open up a chest. It's not. I don't know. It just doesn't matter. Wow, you rich bastard. I know. Dial the dude is playing Zero Escape Zero Time Dilemma. Should play those games one day. They look really interesting. This is the second gimmick of the level. Those weird cold oh, runs. Yeah. It spits you up. That was being like weird. It's. It's not the most fun gimmick, honestly. It's a little bit annoying. Especially when all of the floor is this. Lava. Floor Basically. is lava. The floor is cauldrons, I guess. Did you ever watch the movie The Black Cauldron? It sounds familiar. What's it's it a about? It's a Disney cartoon. Oh, I probably haven't watched it then. Well, it's this one, this uh, Disney cartoon, like, I want to say like the 60s, where... It was known for being like really dark in tone. Really? And it basically, uh, yeah, it's like, and it almost killed the company like financially. <laughs> really? Yeah, because like no one saw it because everyone like was complaining. It was like I think it was the first PG animated movie they had. Wow. Is it PG or PG thirteen? I don't remember, but it was like it was like really like dark and stuff for a kids movie. It had like uh, the the main villain was the Horned King. The Horned King. Yeah. He's like this demon looking thing. So it was it was pretty dark for a kid's movie. And it didn't do well. <laughs> Surprising. That green that green knight we saw is just kind of an upgraded version of the guy we fought in the first level. They they're real annoying because they jump on you. And we got the alchemy coin. It's pretty garbage. It's very situationally useful, like here they set up the area so that you can use it. But most of yeah. the time it's not worth it. Yeah, I don't remember ever using that. There are a few points in the game where you might like want to, but overall it's one of the less useful items. Oh, I fucked myself out of those two, uh, I guess not. Suck it, bird. Oh, all no, all of the, no. yeah, all of the floor here gets destroyed, so it can be a little bit dangerous. Oh, Let's the bird actually killed this dangerous. one. Yeah, here we go. And so you get to this uh, music sheet. So what shows did you watch as a kid? Actually, what was what was a Canadian hmm. child? Well, I mentioned Reboot. Reboot was one of the shows I watched as a kid. Okay. I really liked it, despite how stupid it was. <laughs> I'm trying to think of what else. A lot of the shows I watched were like local shows. Hmm. Like Sally Syrup House and uh, <laughs> exactly. the, hockey, the Hockey Chronicles. <laughs> exactly. Also, like, snow, no snow everywhere. Reruns of it. <laughs> Most of the shows I watch like don't have any American equivalent at all. So it's kind of hard to say. Well, this mini bus is not particularly difficult. I'm doing it wrong, but it's, it's not difficult. Should be almost dead. He has a lot of health. He takes many hits to kill, but there you go. He also drops a turkey for you. I like news. how you kill a, a giant man monster and he turns into a turkey. That's I how mean. things work. It's because it's Thanksgiving in Shovel Knight's world. But Huxley, it's the Fourth of July almost. Uh, well, not not in, not not in Shovel Knight's world. It's Thanksgiving. I really hate those guys, those are probably some of the most annoying enemies in the game. Oh, look what he did to me. He forced How me to jump down a bit. this happen to me? I made my mistakes. You made your mistakes. It's true. Oh, good thing I died because I missed this. Wait, what did you miss? This fishing spot. Oh, well, oh, okay. it's, it's very subtle. 
Oh, it's just one of the one of those. I don't need you, dude. Sometimes you can find music sheets. So if you're going for one of the percent, you should fish. Have you ever gone fishing in real life? Of course, I love fishing in real life. Do you really? I do. I've never really been a big fan of it. It's it's very relaxing to me. I don't know, to me it's just kind of boring. It's just like you're just kind of sitting around doing nothing. That's why I like. No, huh. no, that's shit. fair. Did you die again? Yeah, I got greedy. Damn, Huxley. Yeah, that's this I'm game. So you. This is the Dark Soul syndrome. You die, you want to get back your shit, and you get greedy, and then you die again. You have to get the stuff. Well, actually, I guess it used to be the fish again. There we go. Go away, you stupid knight. One thing you can do, if you lose items in a pit, you can fish them back, like that. Oh, can you? Yeah. I wasn't aware of that, it's pretty cool, <laughs> Yeah. It's... I don't think anything in a game tells you you can do that, but it's... it's just, yeah, it's a nice little trick, though. Because it's gonna happen, it's, like... Yeah, that's one of the good things about this game, it's like, it just has little things in yeah. it that you don't really... It doesn't tell oh. you, but, like, if you find them, then it's, like, good for you. Yeah, since you're gonna... Most of the death you'll, you'll have in this game will be falling in pits, like, enemies will rarely... Like, you you won't really run out of health. So it's good to know you can do that to pick back your stuff. Yeah. Yeah, because I just figured it would just gone forever. That nope. Happened. This room is kinda annoying. Yeah. Just... Can you waste your time? Should be almost done with this level now. This is the last area, I think. Those weird Shovel Knight copies. This level is full of really strange enemies. Exploding rats. Like blobby Shovel Knight blobby. copies. No, no, they're just blobbies. Yeah. Some mutated. Look at the helmet. He, he just went outside. He has no legs. Snail, like he'll do. Like he, yeah, he's a snail. He has no legs. Yeah, he's a snail. He just put a helmet on the snail and was like, go and fight, bitch. This is the uh, riskier path. This cold run spider is very weird, too, honestly. Yeah. I don't know, I feel like he's just like some. <laughs> Some fucked like up creation. Dude? He probably was happy I put an end to his life. Dude, this is not a big one, dude. It's it a uh, it's a plague Bane. it's a plague Split doctor. You've never Bane, seen which doctor? You've you've never heard of uh, the actual plague doctors like from the uh, medieval era? Not really. They they dressed like that, like uh, those weird beaks. Oh, did they? Yeah, and they weren't actual doctors. Most of them were like. Well, they had no medical training, but they were used to sort of treat plague. People were affected by the plague. It's, so they're it's just nurses, essentially. Basically. I will play my... This boss is probably one of my favorite ones. It's really hectic. He jumps around a lot. He can reflect back all, most of his projectiles. Remember like in the uh, Tinker boss? It's I think your boss is one of the easiest, but it's really fun. It's just a cool looking one. Oh, it, it, it really is cool looking. <sighs> the the Plague Knight version of this boss is really fun, too. It's a little bit different. Obviously. Wait, so who is Plague Knight? Is this Plague Knight? Yeah, this is Plague Knight, so you can play as this guy. Huh. And he, he plays basically like that, so he floats around and he drops bombs, so... That's a very different playstyle. Oh, very much so. He's a lot floatier, but like in a very fun way. You can you can play through the levels a lot faster with Plague Knight than you can with Shovel Knight. Due to the way you can just fly around the level. It's a really fun thing to do. So is Plague Knight the only other character you can play as? Right now, yes, but they're planning to add um, both King Knight and Spectre Knight, so the first two buses we saw, actually. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. 
No release date though, I can't wait. It's gonna be great. They've shown like very basic uh, gameplay information. That's on them, cool, but Considering the game's been out for over two years now, it's pretty good to see that they're still actually planning to add that content in the game. Well, it's also like this game did very well for itself. I wouldn't be surprised if they're already yeah. planning like a sequel. Yeah, I don't know, probably. All right, so I think we'll stop here. There's a lot of, lot, a lot of stuff happening on the map, so we're gonna check that out next time. Next time, on next Shovel time. Knight Z. The Treasure Knight, the high, the Iron Whale, and what is this? The Lost City, Mole Knight. Next time. Next time. Bye guys. It was fun. Bye guys.